What's up, everybody? Charlie Marlowe here. Just passed my three-year anniversary of being on YouTube, and I wanted to share a little bit or a lot about my journey because I know when I started YouTube three years ago, I was going on and seeking out a lot of videos of other people telling me how to build your channel, how to get it monetized, tips and all that. So I'd like to pass on some information as well to others. Here's the deal. To me, the, the real way to solve YouTube, to, to make money off it, whether it's your side hustle or your main job, is to be consistent. If you consistently upload every day or weekly, depending on what type of videos you're trying to do, look, if you never quit, if you never quit on YouTube, you, you can't fail. I know that sounds super cliche, but it's true. So look, I started with one channel. It was a sports channel. And here now, three years later, I have seven channels. Now, four of them are monetized. I really work heavily on, on three of them. And two of them, I would call the, the major drivers. But look, after essentially three years on YouTube, I'm, I'm now basically a full-time YouTuber. Now, I'm not saying that's something that everybody can achieve. I do think uniquely what I did previously for my career, I worked in local news, well, local sports for 20 years. So I was on camera producing, anchoring, editing, shooting video. I do think my skill set for my career in college and all that were, were basically all of the skills that you need to succeed on YouTube. But here, here's the deal. If, if you're in a, a niche that you enjoy and you enjoy posting the content and you consistently post content, it's hard, in my opinion, to fail on YouTube. Now, you have to adapt. Maybe something isn't working. You switch. I have channels where I've totally switched the niche a couple times. And then once you see what works, you focus on that. But I got a couple stats for you guys. And and this is why I think at the end of the day, you know, it's about storytelling, but it's about consistency. And I've read a lot of people who know a lot about YouTube and the algorithm and the analytics. And I, I study the YouTube analytics daily. It's, it's what I've focused the most attention on the last three years. And if you consistently upload YouTube is going to make more money off your videos and thus you're going to make more money off your videos. So I, I wrote this down. I went through my, my four channels that are monetized in over three years, I've uploaded 2,767 total videos on two of those channels. It was over 1200 and 1300 videos. So, so my one channel that I started with, I've uploaded 1,373 videos over the course of, of three years. So that's what, about 450 videos per year. My other channel, which has been going two plus years, we've uploaded 1,212 videos. So we're, we're close to pushing 600 videos per year, almost two per day. I know that's crazy, but again, YouTube, YouTube is now my, my full-time job. It just became my full-time job a month or so ago. I would say it was my main job or I focused 40 hours a week on it at least for the last two years or so. So basically of those four monetized channels, almost 2,800 videos. And by the way, I've uploaded a bunch of other videos to three channels that aren't even monetized yet, but I have, I've kind of been sitting, sitting out on those. But for, for total, that means for three years, I'm averaging of the channels I produce, uploading 922 videos per year. That's pretty crazy. That's probably what, two and a half per day. But again, YouTube is my full-time job. I understand if you're, if you're watching this, okay, you, you probably can't be that consistent. I'm, I'm putting 40 to 50 hours a week for the last two to three years on this. But if you want this to eventually become your full-time job, this is where you have to start. But also, look, anybody who's watching this video who wants to learn how to monetize YouTube it could be a profitable side hustle for you, or it's just something you enjoy doing. Look, it doesn't always have to be all about the money. If you enjoy being creative, creating content, putting stuff out there, and then you make a couple bucks, it's great. But if it brings you joy, that, that's what you should do. But what if you also create a profitable side hustle for your family? What if making videos on a topic that you enjoy 
all of a sudden starts making you 50 bucks a month, a hundred, couple hundred, maybe you get up to 500, maybe you get up to a thousand. Think about that. If you can make an extra thousand dollars per month doing something you enjoy anyway to earn money for yourself and your family, that's pretty dang cool. So again, I would say be consistent. That's number one. Be in a niche you enjoy or be in a niche that's very profitable. Because even if you don't necessarily love the topic, I do think once you're making good money, you're gonna love the idea of, of making the money and it might even get you more into that particular topic. I know this is cliche also on YouTube, but always think about the viewer providing value for the viewer. This is true. Once you kind of stop just thinking about money is when you will make the money when you're creating good stories for people, whether it's informing them, entertaining them, whatever it is. So I'm just sitting here, just past three years on YouTube. I forgot to do the video on, on the exact day, which was, I believe, what? It was February 7th. So I started my channel February 7th of 2021 because I'm so busy, honestly, uploading YouTube videos that I forgot to do a video on the anniversary. But again, look, maybe maybe nobody watches this, but if a couple people get value from this, a couple people see this and they're on their YouTube journey and they're not monetized yet or they don't have a thousand subscribers yet, whatever it is, there's another thing. Look, early on, I was obsessed with monetizing YouTube, obsessed with gaining subscribers. All the little tricks and all that, don't do the sub for sub. And I mean, heck, you should probably not take my advice. I, I, when I started, had about 17,000 Twitter followers. I basically DM spammed my Twitter followers to get them to subscribe on YouTube, which is kind of annoying. And looking back, it's kind of embarrassing, but I was obsessed with being monetized on YouTube back in 2021. But even when I did that, I didn't have the necessary hours. It took me several more months to actually be monetized. My first channel, it took me, guys, seven and a half months to be monetized. And at the time, I got... 17 years of professional TV and radio experience. I was working at a local TV station. I was working at a radio station. I had unlimited content basically every day to post. And it still took me seven and a half months to reach monetization. So if you're down because it's taken you a long time, look, it might take you seven and a half months. It might take you seven and a half years. But if you're enjoying it and you never quit, eventually it's going to pay off. And, and YouTube can be a, a great thing for you. We've grown it now where we have a podcast network for sports. We're starting one on this channel you're watching right here for news and politics. So any piece of long form content, we're monetizing it on YouTube. We're monetizing it on podcasts, just the same clip. The goal is to eventually monetize it on Twitter slash X, although the money's not very good on X. I have two channels or I have two, two accounts on X and neither of them are monetized yet, but hopefully they will be in, in the coming months of 2024. And then look, even if it's at five, 10, 15, 20 bucks a month, whatever it is, I'm taking the same piece of content that I'm already monetizing on YouTube and on podcasts. And it's just one extra step to make a couple more bucks on X. I've, al I've also noticed as I start to, hopefully I'm not rambling, but every platform has a different audience. There are people that just get their, info and entertainment from YouTube. There are people who just get it from Instagram or just get it from Twitter, or just get it from podcasts. So you got to put your stuff out there on all these platforms. But this video is, is more so about YouTube and my three years. And like I said, I turned it from something, you know, I don't even know if it's fair to call it my side hustle because I was obsessed in 2021. It was my last year working in TV, but I think it's fair to say I worked as many hours on YouTube as I did on my real job. Then the last two years, I left TV. I was still doing radio three hours a day, but I was doing YouTube 40, 50 hours a week, specifically with NASCAR mostly and St. Louis Cardinals baseball. And now this channel, which we're trying to build up news politics for 2024, because I think the craziness of this election is gonna be nuts in 2024. And the search is gonna be so high for all these topics with Biden and Trump. But also I do enjoy talking about YouTube I do enjoy talking about my rental property business, which is a small thing, but 
there are people out there that are looking for information on that because I'm always looking at YouTube videos about rental property advice. I'm always looking at videos about uh, YouTube, thumbnails, titles, analytics, how to make your videos more interesting. Um, it's something, it's a constant learning process. You're gonna suck at the beginning. If you look at my videos at the beginning, they sucked, the titles sucked, the thumbnails sucked, but you get better every single day. I, I'm picking up tricks three years in. New tricks, new thumbnails, new graphics, all that. Um, it's something I, I really, really love to do. And also, again, it's my full-time job. So look, I probably went too long there. Please comment, like, subscribe. If you have a, a question about YouTube, throw it in there. I'll reply. If you're trying to build your channel, let me know what's working, what isn't. I can uh, try to help you out. I got an airplane above me now. Three years on YouTube, couldn't be happier. It's now my, my full-time job. And by the way, look, I, I have to also say I have a lot of help. So my main channel that I work on, I paired with the, the famous NASCAR driver, super talented guy, Kenny Wallace, who worked for Fox Sports. That's the channel I work the most on. So I got to give him, obviously, a ton of credit. This is, this is not just me. I mean, he's a superstar. And we're just posting nonstop. He works his butt off as well. Uh, but the Cardinals baseball channel, which is also doing pretty well. Look, we have a lot of contributors. We have a lot of people who provide content and we pay them. So it's a, it's a total team effort. Um, but again, I'll, I'll wrap it up. Whether you want YouTube to be your full-time job, just for fun, profitable side hustle, I would just say never stop, adapt, be consistent, always think about your audience providing value and telling a great story. And don't worry about your views early. Don't worry about your money early. It's going to suck. You're going to get better every single day. All right, guys. Thank you once again. Comment, like, subscribe. Share the channel. Share the video. Love you all. Have a great weekend. See ya.